Hey guys, uh, Cass here. Part two, I believe. Uh, depends on how I order these. Of my kind of declutterness. This one's gonna be all lipsticks, and I mean like bullet lipsticks, no liquid lipsticks, no lip gloss, uh, no chubby lip pencils, which, you know, I have a ton of those from like Bite and various other brands, but those are gonna be a different video just because I have so many lipsticks to get through. So let's kind of just jump into it. I have some laid out right here and we'll start with those. Um, I can tell you for a fact, I am not getting rid of any of my Bite Amuse Bouche lipsticks. I love these so very much. Um, I want to say one of my favorites, if I can get my hair um, away from it, is probably the shade Thistle. And it's just a kind of gorgeous, great, gorgeous grayish color that is just so pretty. Like... Oh, I absolutely adore this color. Um, so I'm not even sure why I have these in here. I know I'm not getting rid of them. So this is kind of, I guess, partially collection, partially declutter. Um, I know I'm missing a few lipsticks, and I don't know where they are because they're missing. Um, I'm hoping that once I finish, you know, redoing my room that they'll pop up. But, you know, we'll see where things go. Uh, these Bare Minerals lipsticks, these are the, they just say kiss kiss on them, all of them. There's, they're just a whole bunch of nudes. This is in the shade Sex Pot, and I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just super light and doesn't really show up on me, so we'll put that one to the side. This one is in the shade Bubbles, and this is another super light doesn't really show up on me. I don't even know if you can see it. It's the that peachy one right there. Uh, so I think I'll get rid of that one too. I was so excited to get the, these two. This one's in the shade Kitty. Um, this one looks to be a little bit darker. Yeah, this one's like a, got a bit more pigment to it. So I think I'll keep that one. I promise I'm not going to swatch every lipstick. There are quite a few that I know I'm keeping. So this is XOX and this one's a bit, quite a bit deeper too. So I'll probably keep this one. Oh, that one's super pretty. Uh, these do have a tiny bit of shine to them. They're definitely not matte lipsticks. Even the ones in the matte packaging are not lip, uh, matte. These all came in um, last year's Bare Minerals uh, set. So there was eight total. I also got the glosses. This one is in Queen. And I know I'm not giving this one up because, oh my god, look at that color. So pretty. And then we have Honey Bun which is nice, but I have a million other colors like this, and I just don't reach for these lipsticks. So I think I'll give that one up. I have Heaven, which is another kind of very similar, but slightly more peachy nude. I think I'll give that one up too. And this last one is Nudist. Oh, this one looks a lot lighter. So yeah, I think I'll give that one up too. So I'm keeping three out of the eight of the Bare Minerals ones. Um, next we'll go grab this one. This is the Marc Jacobs, um, lipstick in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I am not giving this up. I actually plan on getting more Marc Jacobs lipsticks in the future, but it's such a creamy formula and the color is gorgeous. So I'll definitely be keeping that one. Next we have two Fantasy Makers lipsticks. These are from a couple years ago. They're just like a blue and like a gunmetal color. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't know why I still have them. I kept thinking I would go for them, but I didn't. Next is a Sephora lipstick. It's in the shade. It's one of their Sephora uh, Rouge Intense lipsticks. And it is in the shade number 14, which I'm not sure like if that has a actual name but it's a light pink and I don't reach for it so bye these two I know I'm keeping uh these are my two Urban Decay lipsticks I believe I have one more hiding somewhere but I have them in the shades Bruise which I got on clearance and I just really really enjoy it it's a sheer um with like a little bit of sparkle I believe to it actually no it's just a sheer it's just got no sparkle but I'm keeping it and then this one was the first ever uh, Urban Decay lipstick I bought, and I got this full price, but I got it because I got a Sephora gift card. This is in the shade Back Talk, and I absolutely adore it. It's one of the ones that kind of lives in my purse because it's a great everyday color. I apologize, this video is going to be long, which you'll know because you'll see the how long it is before clicking on it. I have two other Too Faced lipsticks, one matte and another cream, but this is the only one I have up here right now. This is in the shade Sugar Daddy. 
Um, I got this last year in one of their sets. I'm keeping this because I really, really enjoy it. Uh, next we have a Tarte, um, I'm not sure what these are. They're just like little lip balms. They add nothing to my lips. It's, it's so sheer. Like I'm going to pass this one on. Next we have a tiny little baby, um, studded kiss lipstick from Kat Von D in the shade Lovecraft, I believe. Yes, Lovecraft. And I really, really enjoy this lipstick. So it looks like that. So pretty. Can you tell I have a kind of a thing for like mauvey nudes? Uh, I have two of these. I don't know where the other one went. This is the brighter one of the two I have. This is the Burt's Bees um, lipstick. Um, I'm not sure if they have like a specific name, but this is in the shade Magenta Lake. No, Magenta Rush. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a really pretty color, so I think I kind of want to play with it a little bit more. I haven't really given this one as much attention as I've given the other one, so I'll keep that. Um, I know I'm going to keep all of these. These are my NYX um, High Voltage. I believe they're called Turned Up lipsticks now because High Voltage sounded too similar to, I believe, a Kat Von D product. Um, but I'm keeping all of these. They are just absolutely amazing. So I put those off to the side and we'll bring in the next batch of lipsticks. So these are all definitely more, I have a whole bunch of each specific brand because now we've kind of gotten into my branded uh, pin, like little containers where I have them sorted out. The other ones were in a little basket because I didn't really have enough of each of them or they just didn't fit in the basket properly. So let's see, let's get them all out. Um, so going through these, I know there's going to be a few already that I know for a fact I'm keeping, and then there's going to be some that I'm going to give up just because I, I don't use all of these and some of them kind of lost their appeal to me. So, um, I guess we'll start with the Revlon lipsticks. The first uh, one I have here is one of their Ultra HD lipsticks. And the shade Sweet Pea, HD Sweet Pea. This is the old HD lipstick. I have a whole bunch of the new ones, or like three or four of the new ones too. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, it's, it's this color here. It's pretty, but the formula is just not my favorite. And I think I had bought some in the past, but I just kind of got rid of them because I wasn't a fan. Um, Hello branding. These are my favorite makeup wipes in case y'all didn't know and my hand is gonna be wrecked by the end of this. I just know it. Um, I've done like massive swatches all of my arm before. Um, so yeah, I know for a fact my arm is going to be wrecked after this. Uh, next we have some, no, we'll continue with the Revlon. I have a whole bunch of the Revlon um, super lustrous lipsticks. I'm missing one. Ah, there you are. This one is the Moondrop. Uh, it's in a similar packaging, but the packaging is green. This is in the shade, um, let's see. This is in the shade Copper Glaze Sienna. And it's pretty, but it's got like a shimmer to it. But it's at the same time, it's sheer. And it just, I don't reach for it. So that's going to go in the no pile. Next is a shade called Rose Velvet. And this color is just so pretty. It really follows that kind of 90s trend that we have going right now of like the kind of nudish lipstick. So I will be keeping that one. Uh, next I have Plum Velour, which is a shine. And this one is just, it's so sheer. I, I think I'm going to say no to that one. Next we have Plum Raisin, which is a pretty color, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but it's, it just feels like a darker version of the other one that I have. The, um, I think it's called Rose Velvet. Yeah, so I think I'm going to pass on that one. Next we have Berry Rich, which is a pretty pink color. So I think I'll keep that one. Then we have Fire and Ice, which is a gorgeous true red like very kind of bright true red. So I think I will keep that one. Then we have Sassy Mauve, anything with a name like that, I'm more than likely going to keep. 
And I was right. I'm going to keep that one because that is just gorgeous. Then we have Black Cherry, which I know I'm going to keep. It's just a super dark bambi color, but it can be blotted away to be kind of more of a berry color. Uh, this one I know for a fact I'm keeping. This is their super iconic Cherries in the Snow. I wear this all the time, um, especially in the winter, just because it feels like that's the perfect time to wear it. Um, I wore it to work the other day, and I got a lot of compliments on it. And then we have the shade Mink, which is pretty, but it looks very similar to others I have. I think it's too brown for me, so I think I will pass on that. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. Uh, these are the two M these are two MUA uh, lipsticks. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to pass on both of these. These are the... It doesn't say, but they're just the square packaging lipsticks. I think I'm going to pass on both of them. I don't care for the formula too much. These I know I'm keeping. These are L'Oreal uh, Nude Balms, and I think my favorite, I have two Plush Plum and Heavenly Berry Nude, or Plush Plum has been used so much. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, I still have a good chunk left, but that's about how much I have left. So I will probably end up repurchasing this at some point because I absolutely love it. Next, I have something I wouldn't get rid of even if I didn't like the color. If you guys saw my last video, you know how much I really enjoyed the Star Wars collection from CoverGirl. This is in the shade 50, which is, doesn't say actually, it's just like a dark plummy color. And I don't know, let's see if I can get this watch. Ah, so pretty. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then I have two others in this, the CoverGirl um, I'm not even sure what to call these. This collection, this one is in Ravish, which is pretty. And I really haven't given this formula much of a chance, so I'm going to keep it. And then I have the shade Seduce, which is a red. Let me put that right here. Also super pretty. So we'll keep those. Next, uh, out of this set, I have the Katie Cat mats. I don't think I have all of them. Um, but I'm okay with that just because I don't need all of them. They are something that I kind of did jump on when they came out though. So I, cause I really, really wanted them. Uh, so I have, we'll go with this one. This was Cosmo Kitty, which is a gorgeous purple, like lavender color. I love that color. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, next we have pink paws, which I feel is just too much of a kind of bright pink for me. I don't do well with kind of baby doll pinks, and that's what this is. And the formula on this is nice, but I found mattes that I like better, so I'm going to pass on that. Kitty Purry I'm going to keep because I feel like that's a color that looks good on pretty much everybody. Um, Ketur, that just says Ketur, I guess, and then whatever it is in French, is completely gone. What happened to my lipstick? Oh, it fell out. You know what? I think we're going to pass on that one then. Because if it's dried enough to fall out of the bullet, I think we're going to pass. Oh, this one ha it happened to this one too. This one's in Sphinx. Um, that just kind of shows me kind of how dry this formula is, I guess. Um, yeah, it's super tugging. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of that one as well. I'm hoping. This one doesn't have a rattling sound. Uh, this one's in Crimson Cat. This one, guys, is so creamy um, and gorgeously red, so I'm going to keep that. So I'm just keeping three and getting rid of three in that collection, which is fine by me. Uh, next, I have quite a few Maybelline lipsticks, as well as some more Revlon ones. The Revlon ones, I may have a hard time getting rid of any of these, just because I've already gotten rid of quite a few, and they don't sell them anymore. They are the Revlon... Um, Oh gosh, what were you guys called? They're the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. There we go. That's what I was trying to think of, but I couldn't think of it. And then I have a whole bunch of Maybelline lipsticks here because I really enjoy the matte lipstick formula, as well as I got into a few of their other formulas as well. I think there's one more over here. Yeah. So I guess we'll start with the Milani. I don't know that I'll be getting rid of any of these. So the first one I guess I'll talk about. We'll just go in order. This is the shade Matte Darling. I don't remember. This isn't the one I wore the other day. Um, this is just really dry feeling. And I think I'm going to actually kind of pass on that one. 
Next we have Pretty Natural, which is a gorgeous color. One of my favorite kind of in the purse nude kind of colors that I will just slap on no matter what makeup I'm wearing. So I'm definitely keeping that. Next we have Rose Femme. Ooh, that's pretty. So I think I'll definitely keep that one as well. I said I wasn't going to swatch everything and I'm not swatching everything, just most of the things. This is Matte Blissful, which I didn't think I would like actually, um, but I really, really enjoy. It's a little bit drier, but it looks super pretty. And then this is Matte Flirty, which is kind of a bold berry color, but it, on the lips, it's actually kind of super, it, it shears out and I think it's so pretty. Red Blonde Lip Butters, what am I going to do with you? So the first one I have here is Juicy Papaya, and the packaging is a mess. Um, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Then I have Berry Smoothie, which if I recall, I really liked this shade. So yeah, this one's pretty. So I think I'll keep that. These are really good kind of effortless lip colors. Next I have Wild Watermelon, which I know I'm definitely going to keep because this is just kind of a gorgeous, barely there red color. Um, so yeah, there's those. Give me just a second. Let me wipe some more swatches off so I have more room on my hand. Okay, next we have Cupcake, which I think I'll probably get rid of just because it's so sheer. It doesn't leave much color at all. Yeah, it's not really showing up. So we're going to get rid of Cupcake. Uh, this is Raspberry Pie, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one because, yeah, this one actually has a decent amount of color to it and it's really pretty, really comfortable formula. Um, then I have Red Velvet, which I know for a fact I'm keeping because this color is gorgeous. Like, let's, let me just, the gorgeousness that is this color. Yes. Um, I remember hunting this down when they were still, they still had it in stores because I really want it. And this one is cotton candy. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one too, because I don't, it doesn't really show up very well and it's just too pink. Okay. This is going to be where it gets a bit difficult. I'm almost completely positive. I'm not getting rid of any of my mats, uh, from Maybelline just because I really love how these, um, I, I really like how these feel. Uh, just to go through the colors, I have Lust for Blush, Divine Wine, Toasted Truffle, Daringly Nude, and Touch of Spice, I believe. Oh, and Nude Nuance. I believe I have another one somewhere, but I'm not completely positive. Either way, these are all going into the keep pile because I love them. Okay, so some of the Maybelline um, lipsticks that I own that I know for a fact I'm going to keep is I'm going to keep uh, these two, which are from the Loaded Folds collection, which is why they're in the kind of the dark blue packaging. I have Gone Grage and Mauvet. I really enjoy those two. Uh, next, I have Warm Me Up, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep because it's just a gorgeous, like, nude color. Ugh, so pretty. So I'm going to keep that. I love the scent of these. People don't seem to like the scent of them, but I really enjoy it. Uh, this is Crimson Rush, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one as well. This one's kind of like a gorgeous, like blue based red right there. Really pretty. Next I have Deepest Cherry, which I don't know if I want to keep this one. It's kind of, yeah, it's a bit like patchy feeling. So I think I'll give that one up. I am not going to count how many lipsticks I have, by the way, because I just have way too many. And this was in Ruby Star, which I know I'm keeping because this is another gorgeous red color. And this one kind of has like a micro, gold, a gold micro shimmer in it. So super pretty. And yeah, so that one went a little bit quicker. And then I have my last lipstick uh, case thing here, which is full of Rimmel. I have a lot of Rimmel in here. Actually, that's over half of it. And then I have some NYX products, which we'll stick right here for now. We'll stick the Rimmel up here. Uh, stick the NYX right underneath it. And then I have a few NYC products. Right, one more Rimmel over here. So I guess we'll kind of go through the, um, we'll go through the stuff I have on the bottom first. The NYC uh, Get It All lipsticks. I bought these after getting 
this shade here uh, in, uh, no, not this one, sorry, this one in Incredible, like the red is in bold. Also, I have a hair stuck to my hand via lipstick. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is a really pretty shade, but I realized after buying them, I'm not a huge fan of the formula. And honestly, I have lipsticks in all four of these shades, so I'm going to pass those on. Next, I have some NYX lipsticks. I have two of the round case lipsticks. I think I'm going to keep all of these lipsticks, actually. Uh, I have it, them in Tea Rose and Chaos. I really enjoy those. One's a pretty kind of blue-based red, and the other is just a really pretty nude. Uh, I enjoy the Butter lipsticks. I bought those, um, I want to say about a year ago, because I really enjoyed the formula. I have them in Thunderstorm, Root Beer Float, uh, Boardwalk, and Sweet Tart. So I really, really enjoy these. So they're going to be kept. And then I have two of their matte lipsticks and the shade uh, Tea Rose, which is, yes, I believe the exact same shade as this one, which is also Tea Rose. I believe they're pretty much the same color. The cream might be a little bit darker. And then I have the shade Perfect Red, which obviously is just a pretty gorgeous red color. And I touched it by accident. Um, okay, moving on to... Uh, Rimmel, which these should be the last lipsticks in my collection. Uh, do you like my socks, by the way? I'm feeling the Halloween vibe right now. Anyways, continuing on. Um, this is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in To Nude or Not To Nude. And you know, I'm going to go with Not To Nude. Uh, that one's going to go over here because I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, this is their just round case lipstick. Uh, the lasting finish lipstick in Paradise. It's nice, but I just don't find myself reaching for these lipsticks when I have so many other ones that I like more. This is the Kate Moss uh, lipstick in the number 17. Let me put another row over here so I don't have to clear off anything. Um, that's a pretty color, so I think I'll keep that one. Uh, this is another Moisture Renewal lipstick in Bordeaux, which... Yeah, again, I don't really like the formula of these, so that's going to be a new. Or not, these aren't, the, that's not the moisture renewal. This is the last scene finish, sorry. Uh, then I have three of the matte Kate Moss lipsticks. I have it in 104, 107, and 111. I'm going to keep all of these. Same goes for these. I have the only one lipsticks. These are in the black packaging is the regular cream. I have them in It's a Keeper, You're All Mine, and Naughty Nude. I'm going to keep them all. And then I have the shades, the Matte Factor, High Flyer, and Salute in the, these are the matte, the only ones. I'm going to keep those all as well. Um, so I know I did not get rid of, you know, a lot, I guess, but let's kind of just a, a brief kind of overview of what I did get rid of, I guess. So we'll pull these over. And I'm actually proud of myself for getting rid of stuff because I'm really notoriously awful at getting rid of lipsticks, just of actually getting rid of any makeup just because I love my makeup so very much. But, you know, sometimes I realize I have a little bit too much. Not that I mean necessarily I have too much, but I want to be able to add to my collection. And I just did tonight, actually. I added a few more to my collection that aren't in this video because, um... I wanted to do a, I guess, haul video before I really showed you guys what I got um, and added to my collection, so you won't see those in here, but let's just kind of count. Two, four, six, you know what? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-one lipsticks. That's how much I'm getting rid of out of my collection today and you know what um I'm not unhappy with it you know what these are lipsticks I'm not gonna wear I know I still have a ton of lipsticks because I mean look at that pile over there but I think I got rid of a good chunk of lipsticks today and I'm proud of myself so I hope you guys like this video I know it was insanely long but if you have any comments or questions or requests leave them below and I will see you on the next video bye guys